Hello everybody, I am Victoria Ma. I was a dancer here at Birmingham Royal Ballet for 17 wonderful years of my career before I finished up full-time performing with the company to start Sleek Ballet Fitness alongside my fellow dancer, friend since we were back at ballet school together and now co-founder in Sleek, Flick Swan. As our name suggests, we are about ballet fitness for non-dancers and dancers alike. In fact, anyone who wants to get into fantastic shape in a more artistic way. So for me particularly, it feels a little bit like coming home today, being back at the BRB studios and particularly being joined by former colleague, friend and beautiful principal dancer of the company, Celine Gittens. Today we're going to take you through a ballet boot camp bar workout inspired by the ballet Don Quixote in which Celine danced the beautiful fiery lead. Carlos Acosta's version is a wonderful, energetic and vibrant performance which has a fantastic Spanish flair as does this workout. So you're not going to need any equipment today. The back of a dining chair, a kitchen counter, an ironing board will do. Anything you can hold on to safely for a bit of light support will be fine. I think that's enough talking from me. Should we do this? <laughs> Let's get sleek. Okay, coming to the bar. First of all, we're going to start in first position. Classical ballet dancers work in turn. So firing up our glutes and rotators. We're going to take a demi-plie, an isometric plie, hold it there. From turn out, it's always good to work in parallel to check the tracking of our knees and fire them up our VMO muscles and IT bands. So light touch on the bar, come to parallel. Turn the feet in. Make sure you're tracking knees over your middle toe. Then turn out, squeeze the heels together. First position, stacking shoulders over hips. Once more, come back to parallel. Hold it here. Final time, squeeze into first position. Then take a chaffe to classical second and a plie to pull the bra to the side. Take it down and over. Stretch from your fingertips down to your toes. Then pass the extended leg behind, press the heel into the floor and stretch the calf. Now invert the elbow, run the fingers round the face. This mind means beautiful in classical ballet. Then slide the feet back to first, and just once. Roll up through your feet, back to plie, take your demi. Back to parallel, hover, hold it here. Squeeze and rotate, open those hips to me. Gently clench the glutes. One more time, back to your parallel. And final time, keeping that angle of the knee, turning out, finding first. Chasse second, plie down, pour de bras, take it up and over. Stretch to the side from your fingers to the ends of your toes. Once more, pass the foot behind. Deepen that stretch. Invert the elbow, run the fingers past the face. Maybe beautiful or fairer face. Slide the feet back to first and roll up. Massage through those better tarsals. This time, double time to parallel. Back to your turn out. Again to your parallel. Squeeze to first and chasse second. Big quarter bra, down and up. Pass the leg behind. Stretch into the calf, little quicker. Swing down and round. Stretch first and roll up through your feet. Again, from your first position to your parallel. Squeeze and turn out. You'll feel these legs start to fire up. Starting to shape already. Good. Chasse to your second. Big quarter bra over, stretch the heel behind you, sweep the arm, close to first and roll. Well done, keep this lift through the top of the head as you lower your heels to first. We're moving on to more fluid demi plies and full plies, four demis, one full. Take it down for one, pull up. Try and get rid of any daylight between those knees as you squeeze the inner thighs together. Let's go for our full plie. Now sliding down, long flat back, no collapsing. Press the heels into the floor and once more, roll up through the feet. As you lower, extend to second position. Four plies in second. Concentrating on a light touch on the bar, no gripping. Now full plie, sliding down, long flat back. Coming up and one more time, Rolling up through the feet before we lower and sweat it to fourth position. Lower down, use the arm, breathe. Four times. So the arm's going to demi bra, your imaginary tutu height. Now reverse your pull de bra up through fifth, down through second. Now transfer onto your front leg arabesque. Fouette, 
whip to the other side and low. Again, four plies. So if you really concentrate on the back knee turning out, opening from the hips, so we get good tracking and alignment all the time. Big side porter run, full plie. Recover, arm second, transfer to your arabesque. Same fouette, whip, close fifth, in our fifth. Fluidly combining the upper body and lower body movements as we get warm together and shape our lower body. Big quarter bra to fifth, all the way down to second. And this time, lift your heels, take the hands to the base of your imaginary tutu, quarter turn, fifth, and lower, second side. Keeping the heels pressed into the floor. Tailbone nice and neat. Arm through your fifth, back down through your second, and last time, lift the heels, hand to hip, whipping turn. Now release the bar, quick, circular pull the bras, all the way down, in towards your bar, back, round, lift, turn, second side. Good, final time, turn, hand to hip, Excellent. Staying on this side, lower your heels. We're going to work our inner thighs or adductors by squeezing and flexing the foot. We're going to draw it to the heel, to toe joint of the opposite foot. We're going to take it to the front, to the back, and then to the side, I'll turn it back and front. We're going to take two eights in each position before we degage the foot and take it in glissade. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set to the front. Keep it strong and supported. Let's change it derriere for eight, seven. Keep those rotators working, squeeze the glutes together. One more eight. And changing to the side for eight. Scissor action. Working those adductors. We're going to repeat it from the top. Point the toe, Glissa for eight, seven, six, five. If you feel comfortable with this, add your porta bra to your palm. Now match your arabesque for two eights. Good. Squeeze the heel to the toe joint of your baby toe. And changing a la second. Two eights. Cross those inside thighs. Last four. Then lift into your fifth. Face me. Drop onto your front leg, picked up Padabre. Lift, lift, and again, lift, lift. Second side, hand to hip, squeeze. Another eight. Really keeping strong on this supporting side. Let's change arabesque, squeeze. Keep the turn out so toes are pointing sideways, leading with the heel. Change it a la second for eight, seven, scissor action. Cross the legs front and back, nice and even. Let's repeat again, Glee said, add the arms straight away this time. Up to fifth, look into your palm, good, shoulders down. And changing derriere, arabesque. So good for our inside thighs. Good, keep relaxed on that bar arm. Lift to knee, find your fifth, drop onto your front leg. Toe to knee, knee and drop. Good. Stepping back onto your back leg. Sweep the arms back behind you. Breath in, exhale out. Draw the toes towards the shin. Energy out from the top of the head, long flat back. Stepping forward onto your front leg. Send it past. You can either rest down into your bar or gently use this arm to open up that hip. Now send your leg a la second. Find a level that's comfortable for you. This might be enough. Or come with us. All the way down. Stretching out into those ductors. Now use your chair or 
of our safe feet, come up, point the toe. Cross the leg in the front, wrap around. Pull the toe to bottom, knee to knee. If you want to deepen this stretch, little quarter turn, send the body forward as the leg goes back. You'll feel that beautiful flexibility and squeeze back. Lots of training. Good. Coming back, knee to knee. Facing me, second side, step it back. Sweep those arms, breath in, breath out. Extend this leg, a la second, slide it down to a level that's comfortable for you. Stretching out into those adductors. Nice and long, then point the toe as you recover. Cross your vong, wrap around, grab your toe, stretch it out. Well done, take that little quarter turn, send it forward, and stretch deep into that quadricep. And release, well done. Let's change our bars front onto me. We'll carry on. Okay, we're moving on to some fondue and pique. We're blending these two dynamics together. Fondue meaning to melt, pique or piquant, hot. We're rebounding off the floor as if it's hot. We'll take it front, side and back. So give me one fondue, extend, two piques and hold that rebound. To the side, extend, peak, peak. To the back, fondue. And last time to the side, we're gonna close the foot to the front. Fifth demi point, now step to the side, bring your shoulder across. Picked up part of array, you'll recognize that. Tombe, lift, lift and drop. Again, pull across, tombe. Last time, we'll just close to fifth. Now repeat, let's add an arm. The arm comes in with the leg, out with the leg. Rebound for two. So bend the knees, straighten the knees simultaneously. Nice, juicy action. This time, let's add a quarter bras. We sweep to fifth. Toe to knee. Nice and brisk. Draw that toe to knee. Good. This one closing to fifth position. Let's grand back more. To the front for two. To the side, close front first. Do our best. So we're looking for that lovely freedom in the leg. Like Celine had that beautiful high extension. Final time, let's draw the arm across. Tombe, lift, lift, again. Twice more. And last time, close to pick position. Take one hand off to arise. Add your second arm and lift to lower. Well done, let's take that all on the second side. Okay, on our second side, same thing, fondue and pique, that nice freedom of the leg in grand batman. It's not about height of leg, although Celine has it in abundance, but try and keep that supporting leg pulled up and not distort the hips. So we take one fondue, two pique to the side. And last time side, rise to fifth, hands to hips, bring the shoulder across, tombe. Channeling our inner heat tree, final time, close to fifth. Let's use our arm, in with the leg, out with the leg. And again. To the back. A la second. Add that port de bras. Hand to hip. Picked up par de bras. Final time, close to fifth, grand batman, arm fifth for two. 
to our left arm, closing to the front. And closing to the back. Arabesque. Side. Closing back. And final time, sweep that arm across. Fifth. Hip. Getting that nice upper body movement, chiseling out that waist, working our lower body hard at the same time. Last time, close to fifth, lift one arm, add the other, and lower. Well done, we are nearly there. We're finishing off with a lovely pour de bras and adage, nice stretch the back of our legs. We've worked them hard today. In a fifth position, put about your arms first to second. You can stay on this side and extend your toe out in front of your nose. Take a breath in. Lie your upper body over your lower. Then coming up through fifth, lift and shove your upper back. Cambre. Now imagine your little toe and finger are connected. Come up. Brush through to arabesque. Lower down and open second. Once more in reverse. Breathe in and out. Long port de bra. Lengthen that line. Come up. Big combre back. Imagine your thumb and little toe are connected. Leg comes up with your body. This time passe. And find you an attitude. Take the level that's comfortable you. That might be thigh, calf, or right down to your ankle. We're going to shoulder the leg to the front and to the side. Lengthen out those adductors, shoulders down. Good. Work towards this. It doesn't matter what level you're at. Bring the toe past your supporting leg. Reach towards the bar. Stretch into the calf. And pull up. Leg derriere. Breath in. Final time in the reverse. Over we go. Pull up through the arm. And combre. Good. Lift the leg with the body. Brush devong, engage the tummy to lift devong. Lower down, breath in, breath out. Coming up, combre back, and final time, lift the arm and leg together. Send the leg through, and this time in the reverse, slide the hand down to your shin. And you can take a little quarter turn here if you wish, and send that leg back behind you as far as you can. Nice deep stretch. Then bring the toe back the way it came and send it past the front of the supporting leg this time. Take the hand from the bar, stretch into that hip and reach in the opposite direction. Good, release it off. Let's change to the other side. We're so nearly there, gals. <laughs> Let's do it. Extend that leg devong, little swifter this time. Breath in, breath out, over we go. Up through the body. Combre back, lift the arm and leg, brush the leg from front to back, find arabesque, lower and open, breath in and slide, pull up to the top of the head and arm, lift and combre back, connect the thumb with baby toe, as you recover, leg comes up, this time bringing the leg through passe, Find a level that's comfortable for you. This might be thigh, this might be ankle. If you can, all the way to ankle and shoulder that leg. Press the shoulders down, square those hips. And send the foot back behind you. Stretch into the calf, lean to the bar. And on the recovery, extend the leg behind you. Final time in reverse, breathing and over. Pull up. Big combre, and recover. Good, brush from derriere, devant. Engage your tummy, lower the toe, breathe in. Exhale out, lie the upper body along the lower, recover. Final combre, lift, and in the reverse. Bring the toe through to your knee, slide down to your calf, your shin. Take that quarter turn if you wish go a little deeper into this stretch. Good. Bring the toe to the knee. Send it past the front of your supporting leg. Reach in opposition away from your bar. Push into that hip. 
and recover. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining us for that short but slightly killer workout. Do come back and join us for the other two in a series of three workouts we are doing inspired by the ballet Don Quixote. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to both BRB and Sleep Techniques YouTube channel. And we'll see you for another workout or some tips soon. Mm -hmm.